there, Natalie with Autel Robotics. Now that we've gone over the basics of flying, you're ready for some advanced features. Today, we'll be going over the autonomous flight function, Orbit. Let's get started by getting ready to fly. Orbit is a handy feature that allows you to capture smooth circling footage around a point of interest of your choosing. I'll walk you through how it works. You always want to be sure that you're in a safe environment with plenty of open space when you try out the autonomous flight functions of the X-Star. Before we can access any of the autopilot settings, we'll need to take off and decide on a good spot to hover. Now that we're hovering, we can tap the fly icon in the Starlink app, then tap the orbit option, and the menu for orbit settings will appear. Here, we have three options for selecting a point of interest, or POI, that we want the X-Star to circle around. First, the aircraft option, which sets the POI to the current location of the X-Star. Next is the Me option, which sets the POI to your current location based on the GPS location of your mobile device. Last is the New option. This allows you to set a custom pin on your map for the X-Star to circle around. When you choose this option, you'll be prompted to switch from your camera view to your map view. When you select a new POI, you'll see a red pin with a star appear on the map. A green line with dashes will also appear next to the POI pin to illustrate your current distance from it. Pick the best option for your shoot and press OK. The next menu will let us control the radius and direction of the orbit, how many laps the X-Star should make around the POI, and what happens when the orbit is complete. The minimum radius for an orbit is 33 feet and the maximum distance is 328 feet. It's important to know this critical information before starting this autopilot mode. Be sure you have plenty of clearance based on the radius limit you've set. Once you tap the start button, the X-Star will fly backwards in order to reach the radius distance you've selected and then begin its path around the POI. With the Upon Completion setting, you can either have the X-Star hover and wait for you to take control again or return it to its home point when it finishes its laps. We'll set it to return home. Now that we've chosen all of our settings for the orbit path and made sure we have enough space for the flight radius we've selected, we can tap on the start button. The X-Star will now position itself at the set orbit radius and then begin the autonomous flight. A new menu will now open that allows you to track the progress of the orbit. Keep in mind that you can stop the orbit at any time with the pause button on your remote controller or by tapping pause in the Starlink app. What's great about the Orbit feature is it allows you to capture some dynamic shots and even repeat them if you need multiple takes. Now that you're comfortable with how Orbit works, let's get to the fun stuff. You don't have to be limited by your settings if you want to get more creative. While orbiting, tap the double arrows at the top to open an advanced menu. By default, the X-Star will point towards the POI, but by using the left stick, we can rotate the aircraft in any direction and adjust our altitude up or down. Now swipe at the bottom of the screen to see control options for the right stick. Pushing up on the right stick will increase the radius of the orbit, and pushing down will decrease the radius. If the X-Star is flying clockwise, pushing right on the right command stick will increase the speed. The wider the radius, the faster the top speed can be. If you're flying clockwise and push left on the right command stick, the X-Star will slow down. If you keep pushing left, the X-Star will then start to head in a counterclockwise orbit. At any point during the autopiloted orbit, you can tap the hide button at the top of the menu to close this menu and access other features of your X-Star, like camera settings. To get back to the orbit menu, just tap on where the fly icon was, which is now the orbit icon highlighted in blue. And those are the basics of orbit. Now you're ready to go try it yourself. I'll see you out there.